The blue side of Manchester delighted with a very easy 4-0 victory over Manchester City. Uh, the big talking point going into this game was the fact that Kun Aguero dropped to the bench. Gabriel Jesus once again starting. And this looked like a really good team. And they have looked like a really good team at times with Sergio Kun Aguero. I just don't think that Pep Guardiola, for whatever reason, rates Kun Aguero, who may be his best attacking player. And yet, I, at this point, I find that Guardiola is saying, you know what, he's not my guy. And I'm going to bring somebody else, and I'm going to prove that this team can play the way I want him to play. And Aguero, to be fair to Guardiola, has not been scoring the chances that he's had over the last few weeks. And he gives Guardiola some room to say, you know what, here's Gabriel Jesus. He's going to score goals for us, and he's going to do the things that we want him to do on the field. His record is, is the best in the Premier League when you take a look at the fact that 144 games in 216 matches. You know, he, he's the first pick, surely, when we're talking about best strikers in the league, yet he can't get into this team today? Is this a sign of well, things to come? Well, a few weeks ago, I would not be surprised if, if uh, Pep sells him. There's been reports when he was at Atletico Madrid that he, he liked to, to go out and have a bit of party life, and that's fine, I have nothing against that. You're looking at me like that. <laughs> no, I was going to say, that's a long time ago. I mean, he's come well, here, he a scored a ton ago. of goals, like... I, I, I think, you know, I, look, I, I'm, I'm all for, for Pep making his decisions and whatever. I, I hope you're wrong that he's decided to drop him and he's going to sell him because that would be ridiculous. No, it wouldn't. No, it, it would. would. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. If he's decided that, one, he's got hamstring issues or injury problems, which he's had, two, he's got discipline issues, which he's had, clearly, and he's faced suspensions, and three, there might be an attitude issue, which, by the way, is carried on from Atletico Madrid, and we've got that... On, on good evidence from some of our colleagues on the Deportes department, who clearly know him better than us, then when Pep's looking at all this and thinking, well, can I trust this guy, or do we take a bumper payday for him if they get the money in the mm -hmm. summer, and then we move on? I don't, I don't think that's ridiculous at all. Go. Why would we still have faith that Guardiola still has faith in Aguero, given that he's made this decision today, and he's made it previously in big matches? I go back to this... Chiki Begiristein has been there for three and a half years. We've had this situation with Bravo. We've had this situation with, uh, with, with Kolarov and Sanya and making these changes. We've had the situation with Yaya Torre. You know what? What is this guy doing there? He was there for three wait, and a half that, years. Wait, wait, he wait. wait. He's got nothing out. to do with Kun Aguero starting today or not. He's got everything to do with How? it because, because he's been there up close with Kun Aguero. He knows exactly what Pep wants. And I have to assume, I have to assume if they didn't sign a striker in the summer and they did not, it was just Aguero was their only option. Like, Aguero and Iannato, that's it. I can only assume that he sat down and said, Pep, you'll love Aguero. He's great for what you're doing. And Pep says, okay, fine. Right. I'll, so, but, so, I'll give him six months. I'll so have Pep, exactly. Him. He's given him six months and he hasn't liked what he's seen. I'll, I'll see what he's like in training. I won't take it Chinese whispers and people telling me he does this and he does this or he doesn't train well or he does train well. I'll have a look at the situation. I bet like he did with Sterling for a period who did well initially before falling off. And then I'll assess it going forward. He knows it's going to be a tough year. Uh, there were a lot of people's favourites for the title, but that clearly uh, is not going to happen. But it's not a big issue here. The big issue is uh, if West Ham had beaten him by two or three goals today. Yeah. But they didn't. Yeah. The, 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 he can pat himself on the back, Pep, tonight and say, I made the changes, I made the big calls, and my team performed well. There's not an issue.